Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig, and as you may know, I'm a huge fan of storytelling. Whether that be in music, in content, or in live performances, I absolutely love telling stories. I also like watching the progression of stories and seeing how little things might start out and then become these huge, enormous fads and trends and things like that. Technology is a great example, right? Social media. It started out and not very many people were using it. You know, Facebook was closed to just colleges. People were figuring it out and then it opened to the whole world. And now to some people, it's an entire addiction and people run entire businesses even through social media. It's incredible. New technologies are popping up like this all the time where people really don't know how to use them at first but then they slowly become part of culture and people get used to the technology. This happened twice in the last season of Break Room Balladeer and I was talking with two people. Uh, the first, Sergey from iRow3D. He has a 3D metal printer and he was talking about how the technology is so new, no one makes parts for these things and no one knows what they can even make with a 3D metal printer. So I'm gonna play a clip from iRow3D's episode of Break Room Balladeer and you can see exactly what Sergey is talking about. Another problem uh, with it, like any new technology, when it first starts, nobody knows what to do with it. And uh, people think it's cool, but like there are no use cases. And it takes time for the, um, for the technology to get adopted. Like, I'll give you an example. If you design a part to be 3D printed or injection molded, if you're talking about plastic, it's a very different design, very different limitations. So currently, nobody's designing parts for this process because this process, the metal 3D printing was not affordable. Over time, it would change. It would, change. It would take time, but people will start uh, adapting this technology and designing parts for this process. The adoption of a new technology can be hindered by the tools not being available or people not knowing how to use it, like Sergey said, but also by the laws that may be in place in a specific area. I talked to DJ of Electric and Folding Bikes Northwest in an episode of Break Room Balladeer, and he talked about just that when it comes to electric bikes in New York City. I think New York was uh, specifically had to do with the um, food delivery industry. So there was people getting throttle operated e-bikes and they were delivering food, they were in the street, they were on the sidewalk, they were back in the street and they were kind of being a menace, I think. You know, that's what I understand. Um, so the law was misplaced um, and a strong bias against e-bikes. I mean, there's always been, and there still is a strong bias against e-bikes, mainly because they're misunderstood. I mean, when most people hear e-bike, they think scooter. And it's it's really not a scooter. I mean, I have to pedal this thing just as hard as I would a regular bike, but I just I go faster. <laughs> Industries like metal 3D printing and electric bicycles are facing that early technology phase right now where it's sort of tough to get adoption by everybody. Sergey is doing great work by making metal 3D printing more available to everyone with his product and DJ is an advocate for electric bicycles everywhere and making it more available to everyone. So this is my question for you. What technology do you feel right now is in that early adopter phase where people really just don't know what to do with it? For me, I would have to say it's the voice technology. I don't really know how to use the Google Home or Amazon's Alexa, and I kind of feel like it will get there eventually. I mean, I have my Alexa. Alexa, how are you doing today? Well, that's a problem too. She didn't answer. <laughs> Maybe it's just a bad day for technology. We will get there, I promise. What is a technology that you feel is in that phase of early adoption and is having trouble get to the next phase. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jeremiah Craig and I'll see you next time. Peace. But I only work at night because that's when the tips are right and the pigs can't see what I write. Order at 
the door and then I'm back at the store to pick up another and then I fly. If you don't take the risks, you just give me assists in my winning throughs. Well, I don't need much space and I dare you to chase as I throttle up the hill.